so for sure But believe me when I say that The heart won't be ignored Cause we Oh yeah, we've got ourselves some time Could be the rest of our lives But tonight I've made up my mind And I might not have known where to go So what's the good news about right this moment? We are sailing in 6, well, 9.9, .9, 10 knots of wind, doing 6.5 knots, almost 7 knots, with a full main and a full jib. Nothing's breaking. 14 feet of water. Uh, we got our line situation, our outhauls and our clue figured out, I think. And everything looks like it's working as it should now. Although I still want to get somebody out here to look at this main while we're up and see if we get it. I feel like it's great. I can't believe how fast we're seven knots in less than ten knots of wind. But the wind is coming right off our port bow, maybe 40 degrees off. So it's a port bow over there. It's a uh, perfect reach, and it's really got us hauling ass. And it's a glorious day. About two more miles, and we're gonna have to probably take it down because we're gonna have to head straight into the wind to make it to our cut. But when we get out of our cut, I think we'll have the wind on the opposite um, tack so we can set it all up again and sail about 10 miles on a uh, starboard reach. Although now I do see two little pinholes in our jib sail. Oh, no, see you don't. Right there? No. Why you are there holes? Right here, you can see some light coming through two little pinholes up there. I feel like they're making that up. window is this cool little cut in the rocks where at high tide all the water from the Atlantic side comes pouring over the island and ends up on our side. At low tide you can walk around and check out the rocks below but you have to watch those waves. If one comes through it will knock you off your feet onto those sharp rocks below and you will get cut up. Unfortunately, one of the Canadian sailors next to us found this out the hard way. raining and cold and what windy. Do you, what do you suppose the temperature is? 10. No. Maybe 12. Possibly 70. <laughs> no. 
It's like 40 out 70? Here. <laughs> but what's the wind? Huh? What are the winds at? 22, 23. Yeah, it's pretty ugly. Sheeting rain. And we paddled through it to get here from the neighbor's boat. Ooh, everybody's got their anchors off. Look at that. We paddled through the darkness. Oh, they're all over here. Now. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, see they those lights? all the way around. <laughs> that's, that's lunacy. That's lunacy? Okay. Yeah, we, we paddled from way back that over light. there. Oh, the way Behind light. Us. Oh. <laughs> There's yet another light. Yeah. That light. Holy cow. Yeah, we've spun all the way around. The wind's out of the north now. This is stupid. We should not be getting itself. Palmetto Point was a beautiful anchorage. We stayed for three days. We were anchored right off of a nice beach. We could either dinghy in or paddleboard in and take excursions on land and check out the settlement. We walked all the way over to the other side and checked out the Atlantic side of Palmetto or North Palmetto and had a drink, nice little bar overlooking the ocean and hiked it back. So with all of our free time during these mild temperatures, we've been spending a lot of time in the kitchen creating new dishes and sharing them with our other boat friends and that's been pretty cool. When it's really hot outside, nobody wants to be inside cooking. This has been a really cool way to get to know some awesome people and spend some quality time together getting to know each other. Famous, well, Bohemian famous ocean hole. Oh, yeah. Just they you know. <laughs> they know, mommy. Oh, wait. 100 feet deep, salt water comes in from the ocean. We're about a quarter mile inland. And it's a perfectly nice, symmetrical looking pond. And according to what the locals tell us, this place is packed out in the summertime. This is where all the kids come to swim. Allegedly with healing properties in the water. That's right. So. And our laundry point. got to go on a field trip with That's us. Right. Why am I so zoomed in? Oh, good Lord. There we go. Well, we didn't plan that very well. Glad we spent $3 a load to dry our clothes. <laughs> Just a mist, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
thank you for watching our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was all of uh, Eleuthera. We're in the Exumas now at Highborn Key. Just anchored here. So we're gonna hop around and hopefully you enjoy and are entertained by what we send you. Following us on Facebook, Instagram, like us uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> come visit so we can load you up like pack mules. And, and as always, feel free to send us money. Yes, always. Please send money. Of course, it will have to be on carrier pigeon, but yeah, yeah, or beer. Just that could work. But right. we'd like to visit with you guys too. Come on, check this place out with you. So it's pretty cool. Come visit. Have a great one. Thanks for watching again. Bye. Bye.